This kills me when y'all go to school with like a, a sea of stars. You went to middle school with Kalani and Zendaya? Yes, yes. What was yeah. it like? I mean, it, it's so crazy. Like, I mean, like we talk about it now. Yeah, that's me and Day at the, my, the Uncharted premiere. Um, but yeah, like we talk about it all the time that it's like, it's so wild. Like, the, what are the chances? Like, I was talking to Kalani about it yesterday. Uh -huh. She's like, from middle school to being famous, like, let's go. I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, that is, blows my mind. I'm like, it's wild. And I love, like, it's like just the support. Like, it's like, I'm like, I'm with, <laughs> that's a great photo. I'm with Kalani like all the time. And like, just like it, like, I often have moments and I'm like, wow, like she's my oldest, oldest friend, like 14 years, like, and, like to continue to, to grow together and watch each other shine and glow is yes. just like really beautiful. Yeah. That is so awesome. Oh my God. Talk to, me, talk to us about you. Tell us about your character. Um, so I play Marianne Bellamy. Um, she is a mother. Um, yes. With Joe. Um, and so last season, um, you know, she was um, a, a librarian um, in this little town called Madre Linda. Um, mm -hmm. And um, a lot went down last season, um, and she had to run away. Um, and so this season, we are in London. Um, and uh, essentially, like, Joe goes to, like, find her. Um, she's very much this season, you'll see a, a lot, a much rawer version of her. Mm -hmm. she, like, last season, she very much had to play a part to be who she needed to be for that town to, she was going through a custody battle, like to get her kid back. Um, she's a, a recovering addict. Um, and this season, her bohemian very much comes out. Um, she's an artist. Um, she um, is a very grounded and truthful human. Like Marianne has taught me a lot um, playing her, hmm. um, which, which I really appreciate. Um, and yeah, like it gets wild this season. It's, it's very, nice. very wild, yeah. <laughs> You seem, when you say you learned a lot from your character, you seem very attached to your character. Yes. Which is important as an actress. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of what your character has been through. Like, why was it important to you how your character was being portrayed? Um, so, just so, obviously, you know, whatever character I, I play, like, I'm a mixed race black woman, so, which means uh, any character I play is going to be black. And it was just important. The first conversation I had with my showrunner, I was like, so, as a black woman, like, are you going to be true to the traits that I feel all black people exude? Like, it's mm -hmm. always, all of us get so annoyed when we watch a horror film and the black person's the first person to die because it's like, no, if we heard something in a dark corner, we're going. <laughs> we ain't gonna check it. No, we not no, gonna check it. No, we going out of the way. Like, exactly, it's like, okay, like, y'all good, like, go ahead. Like, I'm out, like. So I was just very, like, I was just adamant about, like, okay, are we going to, like, I understand, so it's, you know, with the show, it's like Joe's a stalker, whatever, all that, but I understand certain things need to happen in order to, um, to make this, help the story move along, but if she's, I don't want her to be oblivious, because we as black people, like, I do not feel that we're ever oblivious, it's in our, that generational trauma, what's in our genes to always be aware, the survival instinct that we have is, is, is just unmatched in some ways, like, it's, so I wanted to make sure all of those things were honored yeah. um, in, in the portrayal of Marianne, as well as like, even if she was going to be, the fact that she was a recovering addict, I didn't want it to be like, troped or, or try to make her seem like she was less than. Right. Like, and I really appreciated, appreciated the way Sarah Gamble, our showrunner, she was like, no, she heard me. She was like, absolutely. Um, anything, like if anything feels weird, like please tell me, um, we had, uh, last season that gets, you, you see a, a bit more get played out this season. We had a, an episode called Missing White Woman Syndrome um, in which Marianne talks about, she's telling Joe about the phenomenon that happens in America that when a white woman goes missing, mm -hmm. everybody goes searching. When a woman of color goes missing, it goes quiet. Um, and you very much see this season, um, Marianne turns into that missing woman of mm -hmm. color um, and nobody comes searching for her. And because she's a, a recovering addict, they think she's relapsed. They think she's like, so it's, I just wanted to, I was like, I, I'm, I'm here for this story, but let's, for those who f do find connection with Marianne, um, whether it be her as a mother, like her as a recovering addict, her as an artist, like mm -hmm. I want them to feel the most, uh, just the most truthful sense of that and not feel that their story is being taken advantage of or taken for granted. Um, so, yeah. Utilizing that platform. Yeah, very much so. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel.
Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.